Uh, I think one of the most exciting things about it from a San Diego's perspective is that uh, we're actually going to put banners up and down the streets in downtown San Diego talking about Tijuana's Innovadora. And, it, you know, it's really a regional event mm -hmm. because you've included us in it. Uh, and we're very excited to show the world that uh, our two cities have such a close relationship, both in business and arts and culture. Well, and I think the other thing that's so exciting is this really highlights the, uh, the region. Uh, and, you know, you and I have both worked along with a lot of civic leaders on uh, showing the world that this is a mega region where they can come and uh, produce products in Tijuana with the excellent manufacturing facilities and uh, come to the United States and work on different issues and uh, really went, come to one region. And uh, $85 million a day in trade flows between Tijuana and San Diego. I don't think anyone knows what a powerhouse we really are, and this really highlights that. You know, what's good for Tijuana is good for San Diego and vice versa because many maquiladoras that have been coming into Tijuana, they also uh, need a distribution and storage center on the U.S. side. So that creates jobs on both sides. Well, it makes this region really competitive, yeah. but it also makes it an exciting region because uh, both cities have such a role in manufacturing and selling and uh, the research and all of that that goes into mm -hmm. it. Uh, and I think it really highlights to the rest of the world what this region actually stands for. Yes, and we've worked together uh, a lot on the infrastructure at the border. Yes. Uh, the freeway on the, on the north side of the border is just being completed. You're actually well ahead of us uh, on the uh, San Isidro crossing, El Chaparral. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just trying to catch up with you right now so that we can make it much easier for people to go back and forth. And that's really what we want to see is a safe border crossing for uh, both sides because of the amount of commerce that comes through every day and the fact that we share families and we share art, we share culture, uh, we share the air and the water and mm -hmm. we're just very close. Um, going to Washington together I think makes all the sense in the world and hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, go to Mexico with you, Mexico City, because we know that while we understand the issues very clearly, exactly. both of our federal governments are a long ways away from our region and sometimes it takes going back and convincing them of the importance of the trade relationships and all the other relationships that we have. Uh, the Innovadora is going to highlight the innovation of this region. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think that really spotlights it for everybody. But I, I think the other exciting thing is uh, it's so easy to, to move across the border uh, to go to this event for that 10-day event. Mm -hmm. uh, buses will take uh, leaders and other people uh, right to the event, right from special spots at the border. Mm -hmm. It makes it very easy for uh, everybody to go to Tijuana and really enjoy not just the Innovadora, but also to enjoy Tijuana as a, yeah. as a great world-class city. The message that we've tried to put out and, you know, that I truly believe is that Tijuana is safe for visitors. Uh, we have a lot of travelers who come to San Diego for conventions and mm -hmm. we like to see them go to Tijuana mm -hmm. uh, because that's one thing that's attractive about the San Diego region. Mm -hmm. uh, families know that if they come to San Diego for a convention, they get to visit another country mm -hmm. that's literally 15 minutes away. And I think that brings more people to San Diego mm -hmm. uh, and it certainly works both ways so that we both benefit from uh, the tourism that comes but uh, some of the best wine mm -hmm. uh, in the, it literally in the countries uh, the two countries together come from uh, the, the Mexican side of the border right along the coastal uh, area there and I had some of the best beers I've had, some of the craft, best craft beers I've had yes. uh, in a long time. And I think that one of the things we've learned about convention coming into town is that businesses look for new opportunities mm -hmm. and I think that whether they're coming to your convention center or our convention center or we can cross and have meetings in both spots mm -hmm. they get a chance to see how closely the region works together and see the benefits of doing business on both sides mm -hmm. so uh, we can't wait for your convention center to be done mm -hmm. uh, because we know that that'll help business on both sides of the border. I think that's what you and I have really talked about all the time that you've been mayor is mm -hmm. that uh, the better Tijuana does, the better San Diego does, and the better San Diego does, the better Tijuana does. So that's a partnership that I think we both really tried to foster. You know, I've told you before, any day I get to go to Tijuana mm -hmm. is like a vacation day. Uh, I enjoy the culture, I enjoy the restaurants, I enjoy the art, I enjoy meeting with you and with mm -hmm. uh, the people in Tijuana because it, it just makes me feel that closeness much more uh, much more available and it, it just makes it much easier to do business on both sides and I think that's really benefited both of our regions. Uh, you know San Diego mm -hmm. is so binational because mm -hmm. of the relationship with Tijuana. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see that in the art in San Diego. You can see it in the building in San Diego. You can mm -hmm. see it in the names of streets. And yes. uh, you can just see it in the general population and mm -hmm. in the language. And I think we have gained a tremendous amount because of that relationship. And I would hope that whoever comes after us is going to see the importance in that also. Because I think it only starts to build as... Uh, we start building more and more manufacturing mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. uh, doing much more of the international uh, work together. Mm -hmm. All that's going to be good for the region, and I think it's something that you can look at with a lot of pride because you have really worked very hard on that. Well, and I think both of us understand that uh, for our region to move ahead, we have to work very closely. Yeah. And so the Innovadora is going to be kind of a celebration of that, mm -hmm. uh, where we have speakers from both sides of the border. Mm -hmm. uh, we have it in your beautiful Civic Center, uh, mm -hmm. where we get a chance to literally visit Tijuana and, and mm -hmm. sample the best of it. Uh, but we also get a chance to highlight business from both sides and the innovation that occurs on a daily basis. So uh, I'm excited uh, to come over. Uh, I'm excited to uh, take part in that, and we're also excited to help uh, San Diegans understand it's important they uh, come and visit and see what we all have to offer. This is an international festival yes. uh, and I think it's going to be something that uh, you should be very proud of because you put it on yes. uh, but it's something we can very, be very proud of is highlighting the one region that we both yes. uh, are in and the great friendship that we've developed.